I'm curious, how much do you think Beijing is going to really take this message on board? I think it's going to have to take it very seriously. The economy here is not in a good state. Uh, as, we've, as you have talked about on your show and we've talked about in other shows, uh, exports is something Beijing is hoping will be a pillar that it can depend on uh, to get the economy going again. That's not going to work if tariffs are being put in place in Europe. Uh, we already have investigations uh, by the Europeans into subsidies offered by China for electric cars. There's another, uh, as we understand it, an investigation coming into how China procures medical equipment, whether European companies have fair access to the market here. And so there is a lot brewing in terms of trade. Uh, that is not going to be helpful for the economy. I think we are expecting uh, the chancellor to meet with Xi Jinping today, and we believe that will be the message that he delivers when that meeting occurs. And we have to think that President Xi will, uh, will take time to hear what the Europeans and the German chancellor has to say. Uh, it's interesting, isn't it? Because on the one hand, with the economy still quite precarious, China needs to, in some sense, appease and work with its trading partners. Germany is obviously a, you know, a long-standing one. But the issue of overcapacity, this is industrial policy that is front and centre for Xi Jinping. So this is, this is uh, what I would call a rock and a hard place because China wants to get manufacturing going again to create jobs, to get the factories churning. Uh, it's providing, to do that, it's providing uh, incentives, be it uh, in terms of lower taxes, subsidies, et cetera. But that is the exact, that is the exact thing that is uh, the catalyst that is causing concern in the United States and Europe, that, that uh, uh, those Chinese factories are gonna pump out goods, uh, very cheap goods, uh, low cost goods, that are going to flood their own markets, the American and European markets. And so it, it is indeed that, that effort by China to revive its economy that is causing that concern uh, outside of China.